Hey, what's up everyone? This is Joe from the Breadboard Bakery. I've got this circuit that I'm testing today. It's Tone Fiends number one from the DIY Club. It's They call it the Badass Distortion. So I've breadboarded it up here on a prototype board and I ha um, I'm at the point where it's adding diodes to the end of the stack. I'll show you what I mean. All right, over here we've got the the red wire coming in from the top and the in the middle is the transistor 2N3904 and it, um, there's controls for the gain and all the way at the end is the master volume. In the middle there are two diodes. They're opposing polarities, meaning one of them is the positive end up and the other one is the negative end up, and when those are in there, they affect the distorted tone coming off of the transistor. The thing is, most, um, most of the diodes that are out there can be had for just a few cents, and while they may not have been manufactured with their musicality in mind, they certainly add different tones to the um, to the signal. In this case, I've got a guitar, and it's plugged in here. You can see the uh, the end that goes to the guitar is wired up to the top end of the to the top half of the breadboard here. And then the bottom half has all kinds of diodes. There are silicon and germanium diodes, as well as some other more familiar kinds of diodes, LEDs. Now each um, I've gotten each one of these um, with positive end up and then with negative end up. And then, um, and then these jumper wires are going to be brought over here to bus number 23 and we're going to use the power of chaos to shape a musical note. Sorry, I don't have a clean signal to start off with. It's all, it's all hardwired in. Later on, I'll have, um, have this mounted into a box with knobs and a switch. I'll be able to, um, to demo that for you. But for now, here's the unmodified tone followed by my auditioning several of these diodes. powerful but you know there's not much definition to it so unless I'm just playing chords and um, really simple riffs I'll probably want to put some um, some flair onto that so we'll get one diode that's pointing up and another diode that's pointing down things change. Still, you know, not able to handle <clears throat> more than two notes at a time, but you get, um, you get some interesting harmonics in the middle there that, um, that could be controlled with practice. Not bad. Let's see what else we can do. All right, this is one silicon and one germanium.
and two germaniums. All right. Now here's the fun part. As long as you've got one diode pointing up and one diode pointing down, you can add groups of three or four. Right away you can tell I don't have as much volume. Take that silicon one out and we're left with just the opposing pair of germanium diodes. It's not hard to see why they call this the fuzz pedal. Fuzzes are the more extreme versions of distortion pedals. I could stop here, but I've got all these others lined up. Let's put some of these LEDs in. They're not going to light up, sorry to say. That's a nice one. Let's see what else we can let's see what else we can do. Like I said, it's not about whether it says these are good for musical instruments on the label. You won't even be able to tell by, um, by doing the, uh, the math on what the diodes are doing to the waveform. Human ears are subjective. So the only way you can determine what's best for the circuit is to listen yourself. You can tell these aren't making me play any better, so I'm, ju I'm, I'm just fooling around to give you guys an idea, and I don't want to fall afoul of any copyrights. Alright.
I like this one. It, gi it gives me a lot of control. I can um, I can pick I can pick softly for more clean stuff, and then I get more compression in the um, if I press harder. So that's the one N zero zero four diode on the white lead and the yellow LED on the yellow lead. I'm going to play with this some more. We'll see what else we can do. Anyway, till next time, this is Joe from the Breadboard Bakery.